Hello people, welcome to Illo Talk. I'm gonna start doing more of these fast tutorials and videos. So in a moment, I'm gonna teach you how to animate static, um, creating noise in Photoshop, and then animating that noise in After Effects. And so we're gonna jump in and get started. You'll be able to see my keystrokes at the bottom of the screen. I'm gonna go a little bit fast, but feel free to speed me up, slow me down, pause, rewind, do whatever, and I'll be with you in a moment. This is Illo Talk. All right, so here we are, and you can see that I've got this going on, and I'll teach you both how to do the text and to do the static itself. Um, but first, we've got to make our texture. But this is ultimately what it's going to end up looking like. Okay, so let's pause this, jump over to, to Photoshop, and I want you to start with <clears throat> a black layer. Start with a black layer. I like doing it the size that I'm going to export it, 1920 by 1080, which is HD. And then you're going to go to Filter, noise add noise filter noise as filter noise add noise and you can slide this amount around if you would like um, you can go gaussian if you want or uniform um, and then you can also choose monochromatic i don't recommend monochromatic because i want some of that kind of color so i'm going to take monochromatic off gaussian's fine and you just kind of slide this around until it looks like what you want okay now this looks pretty kind of whatever. So I'm gonna give myself a little bit more detail because old CRT screens, um, tube TVs, they didn't have they didn't have this much detail in them. So I'm just gonna hit Control T here. I'm gonna hold Alt while I pull this out like that. Okay. Then I'm just gonna save this. So we'll just go. I like to press Control Shift Alt Save there like that. <clears throat> um, but, you know, go to file, save, save it however you want. I'm just going to throw it as a PNG. I don't need it as a transparency. And click save. We'll just toss this on our desktop here. Okay, replace file, sure. Why not? Okay, so now we've got just a single PNG. I'm going to get out of Photoshop now. So let's jump over to After Effects and I'm going to start a new project. Don't save this because I'm about to remake it anyway. Okay. And let's go to Command I, which will import this. And so we'll jump over to um, our desktop and we'll grab this file. Okay. And there's no layers or anything to it, so I can I don't have to change import as. Um, if there were layers, you'd want to import as composition retain layer sizes. Change that out. Okay. Then I'm just going to create a new composition. And with that new composition open, drag this in. Okay. And we'll make it. Just fit that screen just like that. If you want to expand it a little bit, you can. Now here's here's the thing is I'm going to make this larger. I can scroll in your mouse to kind of zoom in and zoom out. I'm going to make this larger while I hold shift <clears throat> because I want to move around a lot in it. And that's kind of that's kind of the idea. Okay. So I'm going to jump over uh, here and let me get my controls up for my um, after Effects, there we go. Um, and so basically you've got this screen, okay? And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit P for position. I'm gonna hold the Alt or Option key and click on position. And then I'm gonna add a wiggle expression. And for my wiggle expression, you've got frequency and amplitude, okay? And so wiggle, I've got like six comma one right now. I'm gonna go six, uh, six times a second, that's the frequency. And the amplitude, I'm gonna change it to like 100. And what that'll do is every six times a second, it will move it within a random number in a random direction within a hundred pixel range. Okay. And so then I'm just going to click play here. And I think that's okay. Another thing that you can do is you can hit return here and you can, um, at, at the top of this, before the wiggle expression, we can posterize time. And that's, uh, that's posterize, all lowercase, and then a capital T, I, M, E. And then inside of that, you, you do that. And what it does is whatever number is inside of the parentheses um, for posterized time, what's over inside of the parentheses will actually, it freeze frames on that. And so if I have six in posterized time and six in my frequency, the first number in my wiggle, then it'll do this where it kind of jumps. And so you'll notice that it's kind of jumping. If I take posterized time off, okay, 
it doesn't jump, it drifts. Oops, I just deleted everything. Let's not do that. Okay, so you can see it kind of kind of drift around. Okay, so personally I like posterized time, so I'm just gonna hit P here, twirl into my um, expressions menu. Posterize needs to be before wiggle. Okay, and now I can kind of play with it. Let's see if I go three times a second in both of those. Okay, and that's too slow. So I'm gonna speed this up, let's try 10. So posterize 10 and then wiggle 10 and I'm gonna change, um, I'll go 10 comma 200. So now it's gonna move 200 pixels but it'll be 10 times a second. Okay, now we're starting to get more of that kind of fuzz, more of that fuzz. And you can, you can take posterize off if you want it to drift or you can leave posterize on. So this is without posterize, you'll see that it kind of drifts a little bit. So I like it with it on. So I'm gonna leave that on like that. Okay, then let's come in here and let's see what we can do as far as like colorizing this. And so I can go layer, new, shape layer. Okay, and I like shape layers instead of um, solids because uh, you're able to change the color. And so I'm just gonna click and drag with my rectangle tool, okay? And then over here where it says mode, you've got all of these blending options. If you don't see those, you can toggle switches and modes here at the bottom. And I'm gonna choose blending, multiply. And now everything turns red. And if I twirl into this triangle over here, I can twirl into the fill, and I can begin to animate the color by turning on this uh, color down here and then I can just click here and you can just make it do whatever you want Okay, and it will animate in between those things in between those keyframes You'll see that it's changing to become more blue And if you want it to go away because you're using multiply um, You can just come in here like this Turn it white and it will disappear because multiply ignores white and if you want it to come back We can copy and paste that there so it holds for a few seconds and then I can come back and I can change it to be a yellow or whatever. Okay, and this will change if you change the mode. So if I change this to screen, you'll notice everything gets a little bit brighter. White shows, dark doesn't show, but it looks a little bit different. And so you can kind of choose what you want to do there. Okay, um, so that is that. And then let's talk about kind of getting us some, it's almost like a stop motion effect on the text. So I'm just gonna come in like this. I'm gonna grab the text and I'm going to click here and I'll just say Corey Kerr. Okay, oops, I forgot that escape doesn't work in After Effects. So Corey Kerr. Okay, and I'll switch over to my black arrow tool. Let's put this dead center like that. We'll increase our our weight of it, okay? And I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna hit P for position, Alt click, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Posterize time, wiggle, okay? And I'm gonna come in here and I'll have this move maybe 75 pixels, mostly just guessing to see what I like to do. And then it'll kind of do that. So it's gonna jump around. Okay, so I like that jump, I don't like the color. So I'm just gonna come in and hide the color right now. Okay, and then um, let's give ourselves a little bit of a stylized glow. So I'm gonna go over to my effects and presets over on the right here, and I'm gonna search for the word glow, and under stylize, I have a glow. I'm gonna drag that over to, um, drag that over to my uh, uh, layer, my text layer, and then I can come in and kind of start adjusting some of these things. And if I take this, and uh, you can kind of just play with these until you like them. I would like a little bit of contrast. I'm gonna make that glow red. Let's increase it. Okay, and it's not really doing what I want it to do. There we go. Okay, I need my glow radius up. Let's just drop that down. Okay, so now we've got a bit of a glow there. You can you can do all kinds of things. You can color phase the glow and all that stuff. 
But let's say we want this to zoom and fill the screen. So let's do that. Okay, so let's say I'm gonna zoom in here by pressing plus a little bit. Okay, and let's say I just want like a second or two. Let's do two seconds of this, okay? And then what I want is I want the screen to be filled with green. So I'm gonna change this to normal. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm going to eye drop this green color, okay? But I want it to turn green at two seconds. And so with my shape layer, I'm gonna hit the left bracket and that will move, that shifts the whole layer over, right? So then I can come over here behind like this, okay? And it'll jump over like that. So I'm just gonna get rid of all of these color changes and we'll eye drop the green, okay? And do that. Okay, so now on my type, okay? I'm gonna hit Y to switch to my anchor point tool. I'm gonna to drag the anchor point tool to a thick part of one of these letters in the middle, okay? And then I'm gonna come over here like this and I'm gonna hit S for scale. I'm gonna turn my scale on and then I'm gonna go over right about there and I'm gonna scale this up until it fills the screen. Keep scaling until it fills the screen. There we go, okay. And I'm just gonna hit B to bring my working area and N, my working area, right around that so I can kind of loop that through. It'll render that out for me and I'll kind of see. That goes a little bit fast, so I'm just gonna to drag these a little bit more. And kind of go like that and it'll zoom in. That renders it out the first time. Okay, and the nice thing about that is it'll just continue to be that green after the fact. And so I don't really need this layer anymore. So this is a, this is a trick that I really like. I'm gonna go Control Shift D and it splits the layer um, into two and you can just delete this top one. Okay, and so the layer just actually ends right there. And then I can come in if I want and I can turn color back on on my fill for this, uh, this rectangle and you can make this uh, do whatever you want it to do and the whole screen will change and do all kinds of different things. So let's play that through and see how we like it. Okay, so first time renders it, second time it plays it through. That's fine. I feel like I want it to jump a little bit faster. So I'm going to go into position, twirl into my expressions menu, and um, instead of 6, I'm going to move this to 10 on the posterized time and on the frequency of the wiggle, I'm gonna change that to 10 as well. And let's see how well we jump now. It'll render through. Okay, so let's watch it as it comes around. Okay, that's a little bit better, but it's moving a lot. I like the frequency, but I don't like the amplitude. So I'm gonna change the, freak, the amplitude down from 75 to 25. And so it's moving faster, but not as much of a distance. Okay, so I like that. So let's watch it one more time. Okay, that's working pretty well. Now the only thing is I just want it to kind of like drop in. Okay, so we'll do some, like, some super cheesy effect. I like where it is right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a keyframe there and then rewind from that keyframe and just have this slide onto the screen like that. There we go, and go forward. Okay, so let's play it through, jumps in, goes forward. I'm gonna have that happen a little bit faster. And then I'm gonna hit U so that I can expose all the keyframes of that layer, hit U again, okay. And I'm gonna have this zoom happen a little bit quicker too. There you go. Okay, so just to recap what we did there, if you jump over to Photoshop, start with a black layer, go to your filters, noise, add noise, um, then you're going to save that as a PNG or a JPEG or whatever, save it as anything, and then import it into, uh, in as a, as, a, as a flattened file into After Effects, and then in After Effects, you're going to do a posterized time expression and a wiggle expression, having the frequency of both of those match each other. Um, and then you'll get that kind of jumping and movement uh, that we got here.
So hopefully you like that. And uh, if you want more of these, if you're interested in more of what's going on, then uh, you can subscribe, all that jazz. Let me, uh, let me jump over here for you. And then we'll have some of those little animations come on the screen to remind you to like the video, subscribe, share it with other people, do all the things that they want you to do. You guys rock, and we'll catch you later.